All right, hello, muses, my loves. Uh, you know, I just noticed my eyes are red. Do you know why? Um, well, one, sp spring's on the way, allergies. But for some reason, I think I smush the cat and kiss it before I come do podcasts, and then I have this sort of blinky red eyes. Anyway, ballet, um, ballet is really an extraordinary thing uh, on so many levels, and so I'm just going to talk about one right now that I haven't probably talked about before. So I live in the vicinity of, of Vegas. You, you all know that. And, you know, one of the most famous sayings to come out of here is what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But you know who I think Vegas learned that from? Ballet. Because what happens in ballet stays in ballet. And this has been true for centuries, long before Vegas ever existed. And it just, if you, if you look at it in a historical perspective, let's say comparing Vegas to ballet as institutions, it's phenomenal what ballet has survived. I mean, royal families have come and gone. Countries have come and gone. And ballet remains. I mean, classical ballet remains, right? And, uh, I mean, I find it a little, a little bit amusing because... It, ballet appears as this um, maybe vulnerable art form, vulnerable community. In truth, it may be, I mean, it is at least one of the most robust art forms and communities to ever exist in, in human culture, given how long it's existed, right? I mean, it's up there with sports, uh, military, you know, all these things. It just doesn't go away you know it, it just survives everything it's just I don't know and uh, so I'm sure that Vegas learned learned its phrase from ballet first because you see ballet is is just um, culturally unassailable you just can't I mean of all the political things everything that's been going on the last several years ballet somehow just keeps going <clears throat> And uh, I find it, I find it very interesting. I find it a little amusing too. It's, it's just, I don't know. What do you think? You know, it's definitely one of the most robust institutions to ever exist in culture. Uh, because nothing can stop it. Revolution, world war, any kind of cultural occurrence, ballet keeps going. Classical ballet keeps going. All the experiments that get run. You know, no matter what the ballet world tries to do good bad success failure ballet survives and I think it's gonna be here another four or five hundred years and maybe till whatever the outcome ends up being for humanity somehow ballet will still be here doing its thing so that's good news all in all isn't it I mean for those of us in ballet who have a passion and a love for ballet have committed our lives to ballet it, it's it's some good news, you know. In in other in other um what am I trying to say? Our culture is in a goofy spot right now. I think we all know that, but somehow ballet ballets continue. So, and ballet Conrad is continuing with you. <laughs>